Hey, I'm Hunter from Skill Thrive, and today I want to introduce you to six HTML tips you need to know for improving your SEO. Let's jump in. The title tag is the most straightforward item on our list. It's the title you want to appear in search results. It's placed in the head of your HTML, and it's good practice to keep these titles short, somewhere around 60 characters. You also want to include your brand name, a few relevant keywords, and copy that sets proper expectations for what your content is actually about. The last thing you want is for someone to find your content on Google and then immediately leave because the content isn't what they expected. Meta tags help browsers know what your content is about. These are found in the head of your HTML too. Some common meta tags you'll want to include are for keywords, author, description, and viewport. The first three are straightforward, but the viewport meta tag lets you control the width and scaling of the viewport so that it's sized correctly on all devices. Other meta tags you'll want to use help social media sites like Facebook and Twitter create preview cards when the content's URL is shared on the platform. You'll often hear these tags referred to as OG tags or open graph tags, which were originally created by Facebook. However, other social media sites use them for creating posts too. The last meta tag I want to mention is the robots meta tag. This tag is often used to keep search engines from indexing documents, internal search results, duplicate pages, staging areas, and whatever else you don't want to show up in search. No pictures. The all attribute is used to describe an image and is found inside an image tag. The all attribute helps with your website's accessibility, but for SEO, it helps index images for search engines. A good rule of thumb here is to keep it short, but descriptive. Your goal is for someone to understand what the image is about without them needing to actually see it. A canonical tag tells search engines that a specific URL represents the master copy of a page. This is important because it helps prevent problems caused by duplicate content appearing on multiple URLs. In other words, the canonical tag tells search engines which version of a URL you want to appear in search results. More than likely, you've seen results like these on Google. These results, often referred to as rich snippets, are using schema markup. Schema markup is complex because there are hundreds of possibilities. But what you need to know is this. You can create schema markup in two ways. One, by including tags called microdata inside your HTML. Use a tool like Google's Structured Data Markup Helper to help create these tags for you. The other way is to use JSON for linking data, or JSON-LD, which is a way to assign schema markup in JavaScript. I prefer to use this method because all of your schema markup is in one place instead of being in tags spread throughout your HTML. Use a tool like Merkle's Schema Generator to help create the JSON. Last on the list are semantic tags. I've talked about semantic tags in their own video, which you can watch here for a deeper dive. Basically, they're HTML tags that help communicate to browsers the structure of your web page. Make sure you include these so you help browsers take out any guesswork. If you pair these six tips with great content, your SEO is sure to improve. Check out the links below in the description for a deeper dive into these tips. And if you have any questions or your own tips, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. I'm Hunter from Skill Thrive, and I'll see you in the next one.